Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Legacy video. Today, guys, we're taking a look at what might be the best Legacy deck. We are going to be playing a Virgen Cell today, Virizian Genesect, Celebi Prime. This deck, honestly, is probably the best Legacy deck. It is absolutely broken. I personally hate playing against this deck, and I'm going to play it for you guys today. Uh, to show off the power of why this deck is ridiculous. This, again, it might be the best legacy deck. Like, it might be better than some of the lock decks because they can't really lock you when you have Arisian's ability, Verdant Wind. So the idea of the deck is we're powering up Genesect EX very quickly with Celebi Prime. Now, Celebi Prime, I know, is an expensive card. And I know a lot of you guys watching this video might not be able to afford this deck because of Celebi's price, but... If you have a few Celebi Primes in your account because you opened some un, uh, you opened up some locked Triumphant packs from the shop, you might already have a few Celebi, so maybe you can build this deck. You can get away with two or three, but I am playing four to go all in because I have four of them. We use Forest Breath where Celebi, once in your turn, if it's in your active, you can attach a Grass Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon. So we Forest Breath to Genesect, power this thing up very quickly. We can go multiple Celebi in one turn with Switch and Sky Arrow Bridge. We can power up Genesect with Chorus Machine also to get a free energy on it. We just power this thing up in one turn, and you just go turn one Megalo Cannon, thanks to Celebi, and sometimes turn one with a G Booster, which does 200 damage when it's attached to a Genesect EX, and this goes straight through anything, so you're just going to knock out any EX Pokemon. Nothing stands a chance, not even, like, Suicune and Sigilyph stand a chance, because it goes through all effects. So yeah, this deck is absolutely filthy and broken, and uh, this is the list I'm playing. So before I get the video, guys, course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Kevin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PCGO pack codes, get them over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern sells codes online for the cheapest. So if you guys want to pick up any set codes like Shining Fates, Battle Styles, Vivid Voltage, Sword Shield Base Set, Rebel Clash, Darkness of Blaze, or you're looking for any other older sets, or you want to, of course, get any promo codes, any GX or V promo codes, or sleeve codes, ETB codes, theme deck codes, or you want to get one of those battle kit codes, like the ADP Zation one, uh, get them over at Car Cavern. If you get any codes over at Car Cavern, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, 45% discount on your purchase at the checkout. So, yeah, picture to Car Cavern, check them out. Use code LDF. Also, if you want to check out the video articles I have been posting, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, now let's look at the list. So this is what I'm rocking with here for the list. This is like a pretty straightforward like template for this list. Um, I've seen some decks, uh, some lists use like Deoxys EX in the deck. Um, I've seen some lists also play uh, this Metapod here. Uh, I, you know, I could have kept it. I could have kept this list spicy and added Metapod, but which takes away uh, your weakness. So you put this in play and then Janisect has no weakness to fire. So if you play against Rushy Flosion, you have Metapod in play, and then it's just like, well, rip the opponent. Um, but I, I wanted to keep it as straightforward and simple as I could for today's video. I didn't really want to put too much spice. I did try out Deoxys in the first two games of this deck, because um, it is hard to find decks, or it's, high, it's hard to find games in Legacy. Um, but I cut the Deoxys in favor of a level ball, which actually can search you, uh, search out your Smeargle, your Celebi, your Mr. Mime, and your Ditto. Yeah, Genesect is an insane attacker. One of the nice things about it is its ability, Red Signal, which is a built-in gust in the form of an ability, which is so broken, is considering there is no gust supporter in Legacy. The only cards are Pokemon Catcher and Reversal, which you have to get heads on. There's Genesect's Red Signal. And then finally, there is Ninetales. But other than that, there is no gust in Legacy, and Genesect is the best gusting card. When you play a Team Plasma card from your hand to Genesect, you just bring out something for the bench. The fact that this thing can gust for free like that is so good. It's one of the things that makes it so powerful. It's very aggressive and builds itself up in one turn thanks to Selby Prime. And it has a built-in gust effect. So if your opponent tries to set up something like a Vile Plume or something, you can just gust it out and knock it out. It's insane. Um, Verizian is really good too. Having this in play allows your Genesect to be, you know, laser proof. So your opponent can't Hypnotoxic Laser Verizian. This is also really good if you're playing against a paralyzed deck like a Selgor or Gliscor. Ditto is in the deck too. Now, some Ray Eels decks do play the Victini, which is a fire Pokemon, and if they have a full bench, that Victini will one-shot Genesect. However, with Ditto in play, it forces your opponent to go down to four bench Pokemon, so that Victini will not be able to attack as long as Ditto is in play. So that's why we are playing one Ditto in the deck to counter uh, Victini, which uh, I think I'll pull up for you guys right here. Yeah, this Victini right here. This thing is very popular in Ray Eels. It's like a one-up in those decks. And it can counter Genesect pretty hard. So, with Ditto in play, this thing can't attack. And Ditto's also really annoying. It's Siddle Widow, basically. Um, but not Siddle Widow. Um, and it's good, because even forcing your opponent to have four bench Pokemon is devastating. Especially against something like Empoleon. Uh, then I got Mr. Mime and Jirachi, two Smeargles. Again, this deck is expensive. Um, got a lot of turbo cards, like Bicycle... Horse Machine, Skyro Bridge, 3 Switch, 1 Escape Rope, just a lot of switching cards to go in between Celebes and stuff. Um, we got Tool Scrapper, of course, for Garboder. 
straightforward supporter count. I uh, don't know if this is really the correct supporter count for the deck. This is what I'm playing. Uh, and then I got a Shadow Triad. Very good. Another card I'd maybe bump up is Shadow Triad, but it gets you Team Plasma card, which AK can get you back. Polaris Machine, Plasma Energy, or G Booster, which are huge cards to get back. Yeah, that's the list. Again, this is a very good legacy deck. And I'm about to show you guys why this deck is so powerful and so aggressive in these matches. I get into our first match with the deck here. We'll see what we're playing against here. Hopefully it's a real player and not a bot. But we'll see. My opponent does have a dark deck box. So it could be Darkrai. Uh, Darkrai shouldn't be too bad. G Booster just puts in so much work against those EX focused decks. <clears throat> Actually insane. Okay, we're going to go first. That's fine. Going second and first are both good. This deck, but ooh, we got a ditto start. Good thing we have a lot of dual balls to play. <laughs> we can play three dual balls here thanks to Junk Arm. We kind of have to. I mean, ditto ball like, isn't terrible, though, to be honest, like, in this matchup. Like, if they're playing a dark deck, they could be playing using Zoark. We'll see. Uh, yeah, we have three dual balls. We should be able to get a Smirgle down, I'm hoping. Once we get, like, six tails. Never mind. Oh, my opponent's got Smirgle, too. Dual ball. No, no, there's the first double tails. Double heads to make up. There you go. So we'll get Genesect and Smirgle. We have to get Smirgle. We need a supporter. I could get Celebi, but I think we have to get Genesect. We can Chorus Machine. We can... Switch, because I don't want to give him Skyro Bridge. And then we'll just Junk Arm here. Get Dual Ball again. I don't know what they're playing, but I think we do want Celebi. Oh my god, another double heads. You love to see it. Let's go Celebi... And Genesect. And then pray they have a supporter in their hand. Because if they don't, we're going to be uh, in top deck mode. Oh, and it's a Juniper. And we are playing against Lando Garb. So we actually do have to get Mr. Mime and Verizian in play. There's Verizian. We'll bench that. And attach. And pass. Perfect. Pretty good turn one. Didn't really get to use Celebi, though. Because uh, we weren't going for second. But <laughs> we didn't start with it. Yeah, we can beat Lando Guard. Now, the one thing is they do, of course, play uh, Garboder, which can shut off Verizian, which does stop Laser, but we can red signal their Trubbish, which I might end up doing. We'll see what happens. Really, what we're looking for the most here is we want to be able to go into a... Uh... Oh, they just concede. I get into another match here. That was a very quick game. I mean, it'll happen, right? People will immediately concede. Uh, let's go second this time, and let's see if we can pull off a turn one Genesect. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. The Celebi start with a dual ball. That's what we're talking about. There we go. Yeah, we'll, go we'll go second this time and show off the power of this deck. Now they could laser me, of course. We'll see if they do. All right, let's see. Okay, it's another Garboder deck. Looks like it's another Lando Garb deck. If they laser me, I'm probably going to regret doing this, but we'll see. I maybe should have just went first, but I guess it's fine. We just got to hope we don't get Hypnotox laser. They can't play supporters, so, like, we could donk them here. Rizzy Genesect can donk people sometimes. Oh, no, they're playing... Oh, don't be handlocked, bro. All right, well, here we go. Dual ball. Double heads. Easy peasy. Uh, we want Genesect and... Probably a second Celebi, to be honest. Here we go. We go Forest Breath. Do the Genesect. We attach the Team Plasma Energy. Bench Mr. Mine. Play Bicycle for two. We needed a switch there. So we just Juniper. We're going to dump the hand. And we just got to find a switch and a switch. And an energy. Oh, so close. No. But in terms of Plasma Energy, we didn't have the attack. All right. So we whiffed the attack. That's unfortunate. I think I just pass. Don't know. We don't know what they're playing just yet. I I got a bad feeling though. It's handlock, which is what I'm scared of. It might be a handlock deck. If it's handlock, we have to use red signal. Okay, there's a catcher. They do get a lucky heads. So that's fine. We got my boy Skyro Bridge. We have a bunch of switch too. The, the the catchers shouldn't be too annoying. We'll see. If they have a supporter. If they have a supporter. They do have to play. If they do Smirgle, they have to do a purse. That could be kind of cool if they like. They had a supporter. Okay. Oh, oh, of course. For three. You hate to see it. Hate to see it. Oh, no. So they are playing. Okay, they're not playing Handlock. Ooh, an Enhanced Hammer. That's annoying. But we still have the uh, Red Signal. Or no, the Course Machine Energy. We just got to get G-Booster. Okay. Actually, that's fine. Mr. Mime die. It could be relevant if they play Landers, but they have Garboder anyways. So, let's promote Celebi. We'll... 
throw another chorus machine bench genesect we'll bench for rizzy because they probably play hypnotox laser then we could do a couple force breaths here we can put an energy here we'll spread the energy out i think um we can go attach force machine do the genesect Force Machine, again, the only problem is we won't get Red Signal, but they play Garboder, it's not going to matter. Skyward Bridge, we just need a G-Booster here to knock out their Mewtwo. Will we find it? We do not get it. All right. Well, do I even want to go? I don't even really want to do Red Signal. Obviously, we don't want it. We have Skyla in our hand for G-Booster for next turn. We just pass. They could catch me, and they have a one-card hand. What are the chances they do find it? Yeah, we don't want to do... We don't want to do Mega Low Cannon. There's no point. We just want to wait until we get G-Booster. So we'll get G-Booster next turn with Skyla and go from there. They can't kill my uh, Celebi either, which is kind of hilarious. Yeah, they can... I guess they can Night Spear my stuff if they do set things up with Darkrai. Oh, they do have a catcher, bro. What the heck? Actually, I was just kidding. <laughs> I got Tails anyways. All right. Hopefully G-Booster's not prized. Not much I can do about it if it is. It's in the deck. There we go. So we got the G-Booster. Big fat rip for my opponent. Discard two. All right, we can grab. We can play the energy retrieval. We can force breath. Put more thing on this Genesect here. And then we just go here. And G-Booster. See you later, Mewtwo. You didn't stand a chance. Get rid of these two. They could hammer the Plasma. So we just get rid of the Plasma energy. Fine. All right, there we go. Boom. Yeah, we always get rid of Plasma. We could have saved the retrieval for if we do discard two energy with the attack. But it's always discard two plasma energy there or it's always discard the plasma and not the double grass so we didn't that's why i played the energy retrieval ahead of time we haven't even played a junk arm yet i don't think um that should be ggs does my opponent have anything we don't have an energy just yet so we're not we're still yeah okay never mind but they can see I, we didn't have a follow-up actually so they maybe would have had an extra turn but there we go another tub with the deck <laughs> yeah you get quick gains with this deck that'll happen you get very fast gains with this deck it's a very aggressive deck it's a very powerful deck and when you can go G Booster in like one turn, thanks to Celebi and Genesect, bro, you just, your opponent just can't do anything. They really can't. All right, hopefully we can do another match here. And this game goes a little bit smoother. And, well, it's not a blow over, but that can happen, man. This is why this deck is so freaking powerful. The deck is just so powerful. You can have games that go by super fast. Um, hmm. I think we have to search Smiggle because we have to probably do Portrait, which is fine. We have a pretty good start, though, if we can get there. Having both Celebi and Smeargle is good. And then Mulligan. All right, we're looking for a dual ball here. Um, Okay, I don't know what we're up against. Keldeon, though, is someone I recognize. I've run into this person quite a bit when I play Legacy, so I think they're legit. Mm. This hand's a little sus. A lot of energy. I do hope my opponent uh, has an N in their hand or an Oak. Those are the two big cards I want to see. Doing Juniper would kind of sting. Oh, no. Do they play Flareon? That's not good. All right, what do we top deck? Which? No, not it, Chief. So we have to portrait. We got to go for it. Okay, they got a Skyla. Thank heavens. Oh, they play Umbreon. Okay, uh, portrait. We're going to have to grab Dual Ball and hope it comes in clutch. Our hand is not good enough to pull off the attack this turn, but we do want to power the Genesect up. Come on, double heads one time. Thank you. Well, we have Junk Arm, actually. Which I guess we can still play. We can still Junk Arm now and... Eh, it's actually not too bad. So we can go... Switch into Celebi... Force Breath to the Genesect. We can... Ash G-Booster. Dunk Arm away. Shadow Triad and... Plasma? Grab Dual Ball? We'll do Bicycle first, right? No, we'll do Bicycle first. We might just go Jirachi. Okay. More Dual Balls. We don't actually have to grab Jirachi, but I, I kind of think... Well, we might not even get a chance to do Jirachi. <laughs> No, bro, quad tails. Oh, now I can't Juniper. Yikes. Can we get the attack? We do not. Well, no, we do, right? We do have it. Go here. Bench this. We have... Well, we can't do Bicycle, though. It's the only problem. We can't play Bicycle. We could Bicycle and try to rip a Switch here. I think we just take the KO. I, I think we just play as aggressive as possible. I know my opponent does have... A, uh, a thing in their hand. They have a Juniper in their hand, but I think we just play as aggressive as possible. And we'll get lucky, right? I mean, we are we have Smeargle to fall back on. If, literally, if worse comes to worse, we have Smeargle, so I'm fine with being in top deck mode. We could have risked it and grabbed Bicycle there, and who knows? Maybe we would have gotten lucky off the Bicycle, and we would have gotten the uh, the uh, switching card, but I think just guarantee the knockout. 
play as aggressive as possible. They're playing a low HP deck. You know, they're a bit slower. We might as well just put on as much pressure as we can. Uh, they do have Rizian. How many Plasmas do we have left? We have two left. Oh, they feed me it. I would just knock it out with G Booster. We don't even have to. We don't have to KO the... No, eh, we probably do. Yeah, there's Juniper. Then they're playing Umbreon. This does give Team Plasma Pokemon 20 more HP, but that's not going to make much of a difference. I don't think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm fine with just doing Megalo Cannon because just putting 20 damage on sets them up to be one shot anyways by Megalo Cannon instead of G Booster. So I'm fine with that. There's a Junk Arm. We're going to hold the hand because we can Bicycle then. And we're just going to Megalo Cannon here. Hit the Teddy Ursa for 20. So they go into the Ursarine. That'll take, you know, have it'll have damage on it. So Umbreon's ability won't even matter because it already has the 20 damage on it. The Verizian, we can always knock out with a Megalo Cannon down the road. And we have Bicycle for next turn. So we can bicycle here and grab ourselves four new cards, probably get a supporter, and maybe just go off. Like, I've, I'm feeling pretty good about our scenario. I just don't know what the Ursaring does. There's a course machine. I think we just take the knockout. We don't have the bicycles. Let's go. Well, we, do we do, but we don't have to do it just yet. So we're just going to go attach and make a little cannon. Just keep putting damage on the Teddy Ursa. Yeah, I'm not going to bicycle just yet. We're going to get some prizes. We can get extra energy and play dual ball, dual scrapper. Okay. They could play Silver Mirror, so we do need Scrapper. And we only have one Junk Arm left after this, so that could get a little hairy. Nope, that's a Bangle, not a Mirror. I, I have no idea what the Ursarine does. <laughs> Are they going to go Ursarine? Oh, they're going to catch her. Do they have a Supporter? What's going on here? Nope. All right, well, I mean, this game's pretty much over then. We're just, we're very far ahead now. I kind of feel bad for my opponent, but... That's what happens when you play Verizian Genesect. I'm just going to knock him out and hold the hand. They could play Silver Mirror. I'm going to hold the Tool Scrapper. And yeah, I mean... I mean, Genesect, bro, this deck is just so broken. Like, not many decks stand a chance at beating this deck if they you can't set up in time. You, yeah, and RIP to my opponent. Yeah, let's get some big Fs. I mean, my opponent's deck looked interesting. I know the name, too. They're not a, they're not a bot. I, I, I play against this guy quite a bit in Legacy. Because I do play Legacy, like, at night when I'm just feeling like grinding the ladder or whatever. Let's check out his deck. I want to see this. Never mind, I can't. Well, anyway, let's just move on. Another another quick game where Genesect was just build up Genesect in one turn, which we were able to do thanks to Celebi, and you just flatten your opponent. All right, getting into another match here with Virgen Cell. Hopefully, we can get maybe a bit of a longer game if it is possible. We'll, we'll see if we just run my opponent over. All right, Verizian Smirgle start. Not a bad hand. We do have the guaranteed Celebi here, which is good. We'll see what we're playing against. I do want to maybe get like a Genesect down this turn. Oh no, we're playing TDK and they have Crushing Hammer. That might be a bit of a pain to deal with. I right, draw an extra card, Junk Arm. It's not really good. Well, Reptile B. What? Oh no, we only have one Genesect in the deck. Oh no, and there's no Super Rod in the deck. Uh oh, that's not good. <laughs> that ain't good. That's bad. Hmm. I don't really think we have to Junk Arm. Okay. I do. Now nah, we'll junk arm. I'll just get rid of a Juniper. Juniper and junk arm. Grab a. We'll grab a level ball. We'll, we'll just go bicycle here. Portrait. I gotta imagine they have a supporter in their hand. I gotta imagine there's a supporter. Ditto, Mime, and Celebi. They're all good options. I kind of like Ditto, but I don't think we really need it in this matchup. I think I'm honestly just gonna get a second Celebi down. I'm gonna switch. Bicycle. There we go, dual ball. One heads, one time. Nice. And we can do this. We can build up the Genesect, and then next turn we can go Oak. My game plan originally was Bicycle maybe into a nice enough hand to get Genesect and then like go into Smeargle. I shouldn't have moved Smeargle to be honest, but it worked out in the end. We still got there. I did miss sequence. I missed sequence that though. I definitely shouldn't have moved Smeargle, but at the same time it paid off because like... My game plan was to save Sprinkle for it later, because I at least want to build up Genesect. We found it. Now, we only have one to work with, so we have to take a prize before this guy goes down, because if not, we're in trouble. But next turn, if we draw well enough, we should be able to get into a KO. There's a laser, not a big deal. We just have to attach an energy, unless they hit me with a... Unless they, uh, the, the crushing hammer heads me, then we might not be able to knock him out. But I am looking to get G-Booster this turn. I really want to knock out... The okay, they're going to KO me anyways. That's fine. All right, we'll definitely just smoke Smirgle. This is why, yeah, Smirgle's nice now, because, you know, if I left in the active, you know, would have gotten... We couldn't use Portrait. But now we can do a double supporter turn, you know? So we'll just go Oak. No energy. Okay, let's dual ball. 
Um, I think I'll grab Mr. Mime. If they're playing TDK, we probably want Mime in play. And hopefully they got a supporter in their hand. It's an end though. Oh, well, they're going to play it anyway, so it doesn't matter. We'll end them. They have another laser, but now we're ending them. So let's see what we got. Which energy cold? Ah, no G booster. Dang it. So, hmm. Yeah, I don't really want to attack him here. I think we're just going to go... Well, we didn't get a supporter. We could go Jirachi next turn, but that's not guaranteed. I'm not going to attack him. Well, it's actually not terrible. They can't laser me or anything. It's not really a big deal, but but I don't want to attack him. I want to G-booster this. I don't think it's worth it to attack him. I'm just going to switch into Celebi. We're going to Forest Breath. We're going to bench another Celebi and pass. I want to keep Smirkle alive. We're going to have to probably Portrait next turn to get a Supporter. Or hopefully get Dual Ball. But we do want a Portrait. Do a Double Supporter. I want to get a G-Booster. Or at least I want a Red Signal. I get, Actually, attacking them might not have been terrible. I don't know. But we take 30 damage. And they can set me up for a Blizzard Burn KO. That's also what I didn't like. Maybe I should have just attacked them, though, to be honest. Maybe attacking them was the better play. We'll see. If they don't get a Curum down, then I'm actually totally fine with just attacking them here. I guess Deoxys. Nah, they got Plasma Balls. Oh, they're just getting more Deoxys. So are they going to triple Deoxys me here? We need to find a Scarab Bridge. Get rid of that Verbank. That'd be nice. Oh, I guess not. All right, now... Okay, now we want to try a G-Booster them. Because it doesn't... Okay, we still have a bunch of Switch. We should be fine. Are they going to... If they don't KO me, that's actually annoying. I want them to knock me out here. Okay, wow, they whiffed the KO. They whipped the knockout. They didn't get a laser or anything. Okay, then. That's annoying. Yeah, they're going to power up Deoxys. Now we want a G-Booster. Add a triad. Can't do anything with that. Well. Pass, I guess. That sucks. <laughs> Let's see if they had a supporter. They have a four-card hand, or three-card hand with our portrait. There's the Deoxys they were looking for. Yeah, still don't want them to get a Curum. That's why I'm scared of here is a Curum. Maybe they play a Lugia deck. Copycat. Okay, that's only going to get four cards. Smirgle might be risky. I think we still have to go Smirgle no matter what, though. No, they got the Kiram. No, that's not good. Uh, they don't have energy to discard though for it though, so that's nice. Okay, good. They didn't power it up. That Kiram is very scary because it's a single prizer. It hits very hard. It's also why I didn't want Genesec to take 30 damage because Genesec can get KO to buy this Kiram if we're not careful. Especially with only one in the deck. Okay, that was a beautiful top deck. Uh, so we're going to Colrus Machine. just juniper we can ditto bollock i guess if we can find it there we go yeah we can get a ditto i'm fine with this this makes them have one less uh, pokemon so their damage output maybe is decreased i don't mind this this is nice ditto ditto could come in good oh they get rid of the oh thank you for getting rid of that that's really good now we don't have to deal with that Ugh, no g booster though a punch of energy too we still have energy retrieval we got scarab bridge which is nice This is kind of sus, not gonna lie. Honestly, maybe we just red signal. But having a having five energy on Genesect is not what I want, especially against no, we're not putting five energy on Genesect. With that Deoxys in play, not gonna happen. It's gonna attach to Verizian. That's our other target in those portrait. Okay, beautiful. Skyla, perfect. We can get G Booster if, if it's prized. No, G Booster's prized? Oh, I didn't know that. Yikes. All right, this is not good. That's bad. I'm gonna get Chorus Machine. That's so bad. That's a bad prize to have. We're just gonna have to Mega Low Cannon. That sucks. That was that's really bad. That's a really bad prize. I didn't realize it was prized. So we prized two of our Genesects and our G Booster. Oh no. I mean, yeah, it's not. I, I think we were just going to lose if they KO this, which uh, this is not looking good. I don't think Deoxys can one-shot me. Oh, my God. And they drew a Chorus, too. That's bad. As long as we can take a prize and we get Genesect all the prizes, we should be fine. Well, we need to get G-Booster, too. If we don't get G-Booster, we're not going to win. Okay, that's fine. If they get rid of the energy on the Genesect, that's actually totally fine because then their Deoxys does less damage. 
This is where Virizion's good. Oh no, is that gonna knock me out? If that KOs me, this game's over. Because Virizion's just not gonna be able to carry its load. We have no way to gust this back up. We're just gonna lose. Dude, that sucks, bro. Those are the worst prizes we could have gotten, bro. Actually, what? Prizing two Genesect and a G booster. What the actual heck? Okay, we didn't get knocked out. But we have to red signal. Yeah, we have to red signal again just to knock out this Thunderous. We need to get G booster off the prizes. This is not good. I'm going to keep hitting that Deoxys. Maybe we can go like Verdant Wind into a Megalo Cannon. We need, if we don't get Genesect, this game's over. There we go. We didn't get G booster. Energy Retrieval is not bad though. They promote Thunderous. That'll KO me. We got lucky that they didn't get the knockout there. They're secure him. Now that's also a problem. Yeah, this is not good. It's not the end of the world. We can still win. This is why I wish I had Deoxys. Because like, oh, speaking of which, they actually promote Deoxys. Not sure I agree with that. I guess they didn't have an energy for Thunder, so, so it makes sense. Yeah. Promote Celebi. We're just gonna vert we're gonna Emerald Slash here, because we can't one-shot them with Genesect. And a forest breath. Attach. Retreat. Ah, uh, end them to two is pretty good. Yeah, I think we definitely want to end them here. Mm, what else do I want to do? We have... We have energy in the deck. Yeah, I'm just going to end them. I'm not going to do anything else. I actually could have Colrus, but they could retreat. I want to be able to knock out Deoxys next turn, because I want to get that G-Booster. Perfect, we got Colrus Machine anyways. It was Emerald Slash. Okay, just one energy, that's fine. Yeah, we want to knock out Deoxys next turn. We can't one-shot Verizian with uh, Helix Force. Yeah, there's a the switch. This is why I kind of wanted to grab the thing there, because I knew they were going to switch. What? Oh my god, I end them into that, bro? No way. End a two into a perfect hand and a Juniper? Pff. That's actually rigged. That is rigged. Jeez, bro, chill. That's annoying. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that was a huge top deck. Okay. We're gonna knock out the Deoxys. Bring that thing up. That, okay, we're, we're still fine. We can still win this. We can still win this. I can't believe they got that, though. That's so insane. That's unlucky. Uh, we'll just play the Oak. Should be safe next turn, too, which is good. Um, Yeah, here we go. Just take a knockout. Bye-bye. And we'll uh, hit that Kieran for 20, of course. All right, we can still win this. That was lucky that we drew that Plasma Energy there. All right, G-Booster. There we go. There, uh, not, okay. We're, we're chilling. Uh, how many Plasmas do we have left? We still have one left. I think it's in the deck. So if we find this last Plasma Energy, which we're probably going to go Portrait next turn. Well, actually, I don't want to lose Kirim or Genesect. Actually, I actually don't know if I want to do that. I might just let him knock me out. I don't know. We'll see. We just need a Red Signal or we just need a G-Booster, which maybe they don't know I took the G-Booster off. Can Kirim KO me? They're doing 140. If they get a Silver Bangle on, they can knock me out. Oh, they had another Juniper. Oh my gosh. If they get a silver bangle, they KO me. And that's where things get a little sketchy. Okay, that's only 150. They can't Burbank laser me because Verizium's in place. So they can't. Laser will do nothing. What do they got? What's their play? Okay, no knockout. Ooh, this is this an intense match. Jeez. We have Mime in place, so I think we just go Emerald Slash. I'm fine with doing Emerald Slash here. Okay, so we just win. We can go escape rope. Okay, never mind. We win. We can go escape rope. Or something up in the G booster knock it out. Alright, I'm a dummy. I forgot we just do this. Alright, there we go. So that's game over. We got him. We got him. I forgot about escape rope. This is why you always play an escape rope in your deck, folks. Because uh sometimes it is why you win the game. There we go. G booster. Bye bye. Thunderous. Seeing another life. Yeah, completely forgot about that. There we go. GG's. Very close game. Things got a little hairy there, but we pull through. Last minute win. Jeez, let's go. Escape rope. Huge. Huge escape rope. Okay, let's try one more game with this Genesect here and see what we can do. We've lost a coin flip. We'll see what we are playing against here. My opponent lets me go first. 
Ooh, this could be a potential uh, mirror match. It also could be another TDK deck. I swear to... Man, I keep playing against TDK, bro. Every time I play Legacy, that's all I play against is TDK. All right. Let's see what we uh, get here. Oh, okay. No, it's not TDK. Okay, so it looks like they are playing... Uh, what's his face? They're playing Rails, which is fine. Double Tails is not good. I'm going to Junk Arm here away. Switch and Plasma Energy. Get that Dual Ball back. Try to get another double, come on, double heads to make it up. All right, I'll take it. The Genesect, I guess. We're banking on them having a supporter in their hand. We are going to bench Ditto because of Victini. Do we want Verizian? We They probably don't play... Oh, they could paralyze me. Sure, we'll bench Verizian. And we'll hope Portrait. Easy peasy. Yeah, they got all spells. They got fire. So they probably have the Victini, so we have to have Ditto. We need to find Mr. Mime. Stop Volpul. We didn't get anything good there. No Celebi is unfortunate. Yeah, just pass. And then next turn, we're going to try to attack with uh, Genesect if we can play as aggressive as possible. I wouldn't mind going for a red signal next turn, but I don't think we're going to get there with our current hand. They might end me, though, which is what I'm hoping they do. They might end me here. We'll see what happens. I'm hoping they do end me, right? They might just play the Oak, though. They'll probably just play the Oak, but we'll see. Still Portrait. I mean, we should be fine. I just want to attack next turn. I even want to knock out one of the Tynamos if I can. That's also on my agenda. I also want to stop them from Volpul theme. So I want to get a Mr. Mime and a Celebi down. Those are my next two cards. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have benched the Verizium because it's just eating up space in the deck. I probably shouldn't have benched this. Now I can't bench a double Genesect. I think I misplayed by benching that. I don't know. It might come in handy, though. I don't really know. It might come in handy. I definitely should have just benched the Genesect, though. We'll see what happens. I do want to get off a Megalo Cannon if I can, though. I want to definitely knock out one of the Tynamos. Even hitting the Rickways is not terrible, though, either. Oh, speaking of which, they're going to go into it. Okay. There's Juniper. Didn't get much off of that. Playing this Plasma Energy doesn't really do anything. I think I just Oak. Not going to do anything. I don't want to attach because we could potentially get into a Celebi play here, which... All right, look at that. We got level ball. I grab a Celebi Prime. We can go attach. Force Machine. Well, I guess now we can't do the... Okay, never mind. We can't really do what I was going to do. Let's just play this. Do we have Mr. Mime in the deck? Yeah, it's in there. Just grab Mr. Mime. We could find G-Booster. Bicycle, Let's see if we can get the G-Booster knockout. I think that's pretty good. Nope. I think I'm going to hold the hand and just... I'm not going to portrait. They have a three-card hand. I think I'm just going to go for the attack here. Yeah, I think I just attack them. Fine. They can't knock me out this turn. Well, they could. They need a lot, though. Like, a lot, a lot. And I don't know if they have a lot. They have one energy in the discard. Yeah, it's very unlikely we get knocked out this turn. We just get some damage on now. Yeah, I definitely shouldn't have benched Verizium. But again, like, they could go for, like, a Thunderfang here. But we do have a bunch of switch. I probably... Benching Verizium was probably just a mistake. There's a catcher. Mmm. There's a head. Okay, they're going to target Ditto. They want to go Ditto so they get access to the Victini KO, which is smart. It is smart. Ooh, they had a chorus. Okay, maybe I should have done Portrait then. Hopefully we get to keep Ditto. Well, they can Volt Bolt it. If they Volt Bolt, we go G-Booster Knockout. Then we get a Genesect down. We'll see what happens. Okay, they got the Volt Bolt, it looks like. They do probably have an energy in their hand. So, yeah, Ditto's a goner. We have no way to get Ditto back. So, them KOing the Ditto here is actually kind of annoying. Because now that Victini can come in and destroy my Genesect. So, that's a little problematic. That is not good. Yeah, that is not good. Still, though, I'm not... It's not the end of the world, but, like, yeah. Now that Victi can KO me, definitely does suck a lot. That Catcher Heads is unfortunate. We can take a G-Booster KO, though. We'll promote Smirkle. We'll go... They definitely have a supporter in their hands. So we're gonna Skyla here for... G booster, please don't be prized. Thank you. We'll go junk arm away and an oak. Because I gotta imagine they have a supporter in their hand. I mean their hand's fat. There's no way they don't have a supporter. We'll grab dual ball. Try to get another Genesect down. We just need one heads. There we go. Double heads. We can get rid of the other Celebi, I guess. We have two prizes. We should get a Celebi on the prizes. We probably don't need two. Catch. Portrait. Yep. Oak. 
Okay, they have a junk arm. They have... Oh, so we're going to get knocked out by Victini next turn. Their hand is good enough to knock me out with Victini, so that's unfortunate. We can go here. Chorus Machine. As long as that Victini doesn't rain too much tear on me, it's really not that big of a deal. And I'll just G-Booster knock this out. So it's really not a big deal if they do get the Victini knockout. It might... Well, maybe... It, I don't know. The fact that we got 100 damage on the Rayquaza is what I like, though, about our spot. The Ditto definitely is annoying that the KO did, but whatever. There's another Celebi, and there's a Smeargle. Uh, we still have a few supporters left. Yeah, we should be fine. We have Jirachi we can bench. What is Risky, though? Let's see if they see the play with the Victini. Oh, no, they're not. I think they're going to settle with a Dragon Burst knockout. And then we can Jirachi for Shadow Triad, right? Yeah, we can Jirachi for Shadow Triad, and then you e booster And then we just got to knock out this guy at some point with a Red Signal. So I think we're kind of kicking our game plan together we still have junk arm for g booster too i actually think i'd rather do that because i can save shadow triad for something else we still uh two junk arms actually i don't know if we're gonna get there we're close to winning this though we are very close to winning this do they have enough energy they don't actually have enough energy to knock me out here maybe they did prize the victini that might have been what happened because they got a junk arm for victini level balled for it bench rayquaza probably got another basic but no they're just gonna hit me with a catcher here I get tails. Okay, mine. Eh, I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, I don't think Megalo Cannon. Okay. No, they don't have it. Okay. Oh, that was a good top deck. So we can just go. Might as well play this just to burn it. Can we just KO their Mr. Mine. We could also just sit back. We could also try to get our red signal off. That's unlikely, though. We can just attack with this Genesect here, take a KO, save the G booster for later. I like that. They could end me, of course. They can knock it. And then we can just KO Electric at some point. I think this is fine. Just knock him out here. Plus, if they do go Victini, we can knock out the Victini now a lot easier. They could end me. This is what I am worried about. They haven't played an end yet. They had an end in their starting hand, so they definitely play a multiple ends. They could end me to three here. And I might not be able to get a KO with the G booster on, but we'll see. They still need to get another energy. They need a they need another lightning energy here if they want to knock out my Genesect. Okay, they do play Super Rod. That, I'm glad, glad they played that now, because that could have gotten the Victini back if they played it. Like, the Victini is what scares me, because they did KO my Ditto Bollock, which is bad. We'll see what happens. If they don't end me here, we should be able to go with another G-Booster KO. But they just scooped the game, and there we go. Genesect, Verissian, Vergencell, whatever you want to call it, wins over my opponent's Rayquaza deck. Yeah, the Rails matchup, I do think, is favorable, thanks to the Ditto. But it is a little bit of a sketchy matchup sometimes, especially when they get a lucky catcher heads like that. But anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video. I have two Battle Styles packs to open up here that I got off the ladder uh, while recording this. Sometimes legacy videos take a while to record because I keep playing against players that don't really have like actual decks. So it's like I get like free wins and it boosts my elo up. That's why I grind legacy a lot. But yeah, Virgen Cell, guys, without a doubt, is the strongest legacy deck. And it might honestly just be the best. Like, I know the Vileplume decks are really good, but Virgen Cell is equipped to even beat the Vileplume decks. Ooh, Corviknight and Bronzor. All right. Yeah, Virgen Cell is a very good deck. And I definitely recommend playing it if you have it built. It's a great legacy ladder grinding deck. It's very powerful. Your only auto loss is really, like, sometimes Flareon and Reshi Flosion. Um, that's where maybe the Metapod can be pretty good, but it's kind of inconsistent. Yeah, I like the deck a lot. It's fun. I don't like playing against it, but it is a pretty powerful deck to play. And that'll be it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the legacy video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe down below. If you're new to the channel, help me on the road to reaching 17,000 subscribers. Check out Card Cabin down below. Use code LDF. Check out the socials, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. And that'll be it for the video, guys, on Virgen Cell. And uh, yeah, if you guys can afford the deck, definitely play it if you have a couple Celebes. You don't really need four. You can honestly get away with two or three Celebes. But if you have any from Unlock Triumphant Packs or Lock Triumphant Packs, you can play the deck. And uh I don't know. And if you want to beat the deck, just play a fire deck. Boom. There you go. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.